nobody in the history of anybody, maybe somebody, has been. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, or the Crow and Croak podcast if you're in Australia. My name is Spencer Cardia. I am Sparkle Plenty. And this over here is, he's, he's Frank. You can call him Francis, but he doesn't really like that too much. Um, It is Friday, the end of the week, the day that we all wait for. Mm-hmm. Not really. We don't really wait for it well, in COVID times. Yeah, right. That's what changed everything. It could be a Tuesday. It could be a Monday. It used to be fun. It used to be fun. Remember that? Make make Fridays fun again. Oh yeah. That's um that's my uh presidential stance. Make Fridays fun again. Mm-hmm. Today is 44 Friday. The 44 Fridays. F's in the chat. We got a lot of <laughs> F's in the title. 44. This was one of the numbers I was waiting for. Yeah. You waiting for? Waiting for 4. There is something special about the number 4. But we're not going to get into that. We'll get into that on the numbers podcast. Because today's podcast is not about numbers. It's about, drum roll please. Opportunity. 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 And what a topic that is. Why are we talking about opportunity? Um, because opera people look for opportunities, right? And so if they're looking for an opportunity, here it is. Yes. Opportunity. Yes. I like this. Good. I like this topic. You know, we're, 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 we, uh, teeter on the line of a spiritual podcast. Some would say, some would say, Spencer, do you have a spiritual podcast? Not say, I think I might. I, I think I might. So I'm going to talk about spiritually. I'm surprised. What? I'm surprised that Spencer's going to talk. When he heard opportunity, he said that's a spiritual um, thing. Because I thought you, since you're in finance, you would have looked at it more in a financial way. Analytically, no, my head's in the clouds right now. I'm thinking. Oh. Of, uh, I'm thinking well above Good. earthly numbers. I'm out of the stock market. Good. Quick thing, just for just for Are a short you? bit. Yeah. Um. Hey, everyone. Remember, like, two months ago when I said I lost all my money in the stock market? Um, I lost all my van money in the stock market. And so I couldn't bring you a van build. Right. That happened, and you haven't seen the van since. But let me tell you, I I found some opportunity in the stock market, made all the money back, plus some. Okay. So I temporarily took all my money out of the stock market. I said, Spencer, you're, you're back up. Let's you take, seize the opportunity. I, I seize the opportunity. I said, people have been dying. They've been waiting for the van bill. Yeah. You owe it to them to take this opportunity, take this money, and funnel it into the van and provide you with some van builds. Thank you, Spencer. Coming real soon. Okay. So, right now, so I'm, yeah, I've already, I've, today, this week, I'm sort of not thinking uh-huh. in, in financial numbers. Okay. But I want to talk about spiritual opportunity, not spiritual opportunity, opportunity that is presented spiritually. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about prayer. Mm-hmm. Five letter word. Six letter word. We're still looking for a four letter word because. Um, Pray. P-R-A-Y. Oh, yeah. So we had hope, which I think was the other day. And then pray. Pray hope. and hope. Hope and pray. Um, Hope and pray that these don't come at you. So we live in a we live in a in, on a on a planet. Cliff. We live on, in this earth, and we want certain things for our life, and we pray for certain things in our life. But let me be clear: God works through opportunity, not through. I mean, he does work through miracles. Don't yeah. get me wrong, yeah. but but not through snap of the finger. You, when you pray, well, first let's just say what opportunity is. The defin the Webster's def- definition. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, not the Webster's definition. Verona, a long drawn out. Verona's the definition. The Crook and Crow definition. The op- an opportunity is um different than a chance. You know, if you get a chance to, I don't know, grab well, something. Yeah. But a- an opportunity uh is a set of circumstances that present themselves. Yeah. To, for you to be able to do something, a door so, is opened, if you will. Yeah, so it's more it's a, it's more of like a package deal than just um, you know, one thing. Yeah. It's like, go ahead. 
just to put that out there. Okay, so that's what opportunity is. Don't get it twisted. So, like I was saying, we we have desires in our life and we want to do things and we pray for these things. We say, "Dear Lord, um, what's uh, what's the forest come thing? Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far away." Um, we pray for things, and what God gives us, He doesn't just He doesn't just say, "You want a hundred million dollars." I got you. Here's a hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. And you wake up and just on your lap is this right. sack of money and gold bars. What prayer allows, in my opinion, and not just prayer, but just what, what things allow when you have desires, when you have dreams is your opportunity is opportunities. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're, you're praying yeah, for financial freedom, you might rent, you might get the opportunity to get a job that, that you, that gets you in that direction. Mm-hmm. If you, um, you know, well, I don't know, want a significant other, you might have the opportunity to meet someone. Right. And and, the, and so I think... The it's opportunity so, presents itself. I think it's so important to keep your eyes out for these opportunities, these opportunities being put in front of you, mm-hmm. especially when actively praying for something. Don't be looking, you know? It, um. Like, I'll bring back to that story of the boats. You know, the the man was, was uh, his boat went down in the ocean. He's drowning. A tugboat comes by and says, jump. Or he prays, he's like, God, please get me out of this ocean. Tugboat goes by. The guy's like, get in. He's like, sorry, don't need you. God's mm-hmm. going to save me. And then a blah, blah, blah. You know, three more boats come. He yeah. says no to all of them. And then he drowns. The end. But... He was looking for the wrong thing. He was looking for God to save him, and he was missing out on the opportunities that God was putting in front of him. Right. And that's what that's what you need to keep your eyes out for. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for a significant other and you're praying, dear God, I want somebody to love me. Right. And then there's there's not Sally Sue knocking on the front door saying, I don't know why I'm here. I just was had a sudden sudden desire to meet someone Mm -hmm. no you might you might have a friend who says oh come out we're having we're having some some food with some friends that might be your opportunity look out for the opportunities they're not always clear right but they're always there opportunities knocking be opportunistic well opportunistic isn't that an insult yeah maybe not Maybe I've just heard it or used it in an in an insultive way you're really opportunistic yeah it's used when someone like Uses whatever they can to get ahead. Right. It's like, I don't really care about you or anything that's happening. Um, I'm just looking for the opportunity. I'm looking over your shoulder yeah. for an opportunity. When that friend texts you, oh, come, you're not thinking about that friend at all. You're right. like, I could care less about you. But what I see right. is an opportunity to meet Sally Sue. Right. Well, I'm sorry you're not in the um, stock market. I can talk about it. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> Now um, that I made all this money, I think I'm, I have the the Charlie Munger. Right. Charlie Munger is Warren Buffett's partner. Chest hurts. Oh, I'm working out. So gotta get back into it. Yeah, is is a Warren Buffett's partner, and um, he he's an interesting guy, still alive, like in his 90s. But anyway, um, he said opportunity comes to the prepared mind. Yes. Um. Yes. So, what do you? What is that? What is that saying? And I think it's saying exactly what I was just saying, you know, because mm-hmm. like like I said, I can talk about prayer, but it, it it translates everywhere. When your eyes are on, when your eyes are on a hundred million dollars, you're never going to be successful. When your eyes are on opportunity to get there, and and that's what you're calculated on. You think Elon Elon Musk just became the richest man in the world? Did he? To today or yesterday? Really? Yeah, it's not a gross amount of money, like a hundred and sixty billion dollars or something. Charlie Munger has um like an, I think one or two million one or two billion. That's it's a lot of it's a lot of zeros there. But um Elon Musk, one thing about him is he was never chasing the money. Mm-hmm. He was chasing the opportunity. Yeah. Like he, he the re, he um let me just tell you a little it's a Elon Musk podcast. Yeah. Um he was the inventor of, of what now is PayPal. Okay. And this was decades ago. Yeah. Might have been I don't know, 20 years ago? When did PayPal come out? I don't know. 2001? He was set. Like, like I think he sold it for like a million dollars. He was a, just a, a nobody. And he was just a smart guy. He could code. He was coding in his basement. He could have been done. He could, he could have lived in a nice house with his wife. But 
when he saw that million dollars, he that he was like he knew what he wanted to do. He knew he wanted to get into the electrical vehicle market, right. and so he took all of the money and put it into a new business that was not looking like it, it, it could go anywhere. Mm-hmm. It was it was talk about the the road less traveled, and it could have flopped, and he could have missed out on all the money from from PayPal. But he was never thinking about the dollars. Okay, Tesla does well. He gets money from that. You think he's he's saying, oh, I'm good. No, he sees an opportunity now that he's got this money. He's got mm-hmm. this more fame to go would go in space. Outer space. And I'm going to tell one thing about him and opportunity that I was just watching. I guess I, I can swing it to be opportunity, but just to shows what an opportunistic mind does. So I don't know if you know about the boring tunnels. It's a, another... Um, company of of elon musk's where they're digging tunnels underground there's just in like uh the state of california now where ideally it's going to be transportation okay because he says on the roads you have one plane underground mm-hmm. you have infinite so i don't know but i wouldn't like to that. uh, that's that's your 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 older that's your gen gen z gen y um mind yeah you gotta be thinking in the future um yeah. but he looks at everything like an opportunity. So one thing he saw was he sort of found it ironic that mo- whenever people make tunnels, because that's what he, all he's doing right now is making tunnels, they go in, they take all the dirt out okay. from the tunnel, yeah, and then they buy bricks, and then they, they go in and they brick up the sides. He's like, you're taking earth out to put earth back in, which is bricks, just clay. So he literally manufactured brick uh, makers really like, um brick molders yeah in the tunnels themselves wow all the dirt turn them into bricks that not only did he have more than enough to do the tunnels they're strong they're like 10 times stronger than the average brick and he sold them after that he said you can buy first he gave a lot away for free and then he was selling them for 10 cents and i don't know if you guys know how much bricks cost but they cost about 23 cents to make and he was selling his for 10. Stronger bricks, selling for to 10 cents. To make or to sell? To, to sell. Okay. And because he had enough. And he said it's, the tunnel, for that reason alone, is practically paying for itself. Wow. These And it's that kind of mind that's that opportunity mind. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I mean, I think it's so, you know, if you, want, if you want to be a successful person, that's the kind of mind you have. Like, yeah. It, can, it, it should always be about the opportunity, never about the end goal because the opportunity is what's going to get you there what's going to launch you into the future right that i I would love to have that mind yeah that's like so inventive yeah that's like he's i'm I'm still questioning if he's from this planet yeah i wonder yeah i wonder because he named that baby that name and he's obsessed with mars is he just trying to go home (laughs) the dude's just trying to go home he is obsessed with mars um yeah so he sees opportunities everywhere. Yeah. And um, he does have the money to, you know, m- explore that opportunity. Yeah. Um, But uh, regular people don't. No, but it doesn't mean it's not there. It's like, I love, some people hate um, that when I do this, but whenever we're having an argument or something, I'll use an analogy that's mm-hmm. an extreme. Okay. Because it's just so easy, it's so much easier to to explain what you're trying to say in mm-hmm. the extremes, and then in the gray area, and so I use this example of someone who, yeah, some crazy thing like bricks in in a tunnel system that's right. un, un, unheard of, but it can apply to every every small thing in life. It yeah. can apply to if you're a young lady and you want the opportunity to meet a boy, and but I don't, you know, that that's sort of a gray area of like. Okay, so let's think. What would an opportunity be there? It's just, but it applies everywhere. Right. Yeah. Um. So, w- w- any um biblical opportunities you can think of? Well, I mean, you can think of the uh, the coins, the the house, the owner of the the landowner. Okay. Left and gave the slaves each one coin. And oh yeah, you're right. They all went out. Some, some doubled it, tripled it, quadrupled it. The one buried it and said, "I'll have that for you." Okay. When you come back, he came back. 
he was happy with everyone. Right. Whether you lost it, you doubled it, but the one person he was not happy with is the person who buried it. Because right. that's exactly what we're talking a about. A wasted here. opportunity. It's, it's a wasted opportunity. They were like, this is enough. They had the opportunity. They were given the opportunity. Right. And they were worried. Because that's the thing about opportunity. Look at Elon Musk. That That's what is the difference. Like, when he got that first million dollars, and that's why I was saying it's easier to use a big example. Yeah. One yeah. Toy co- coin compared to a million mm-hmm. dollars. But that million dollars he took and saw the opportunity with it. Right. Turned it into so make Tesla. The, make the most of every opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity. Life, life's a bad opportunity. Because it's it's sort of random, right? You don't know when the next opportunity is going to present itself. Mm-hmm. Um, Ever heard of missed opportunity? Missed opportunity. Mi- uh, uh, keep people. Keep I was up missed all opportunity. Night. Um, nineteen ninety-eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So you have to keep your eyes out because it's not really tangible. It's not so, like no. I said. It's a set of circumstances. You know, blah blah blah. blah. But um, keep your eyes out keep and, your eyes and out. see. And that's what what did the um, Buffett, <laughs> Buffett's friends say? Uh, prepared mind prepared mind that's the thing it, it's it's very easy to see missed opportunities retrospectively yeah and it's like oh wow that was a missed opportunity mm-hmm. you know and and you the more you go through life the more you see the missed opportunities right and so it's important to have a trained mind to to see but it, it's, a, it's a hard thing to do it's it like is. it's like telling someone know that you're in the good times before they were the good right. times and, and it's like yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, but is, is um, it easy? But I mean, even some people see the opportunity. They know that the opportunity is there. Someone will offer them a job or um, the house next to them goes up for sale um, or something. So they see the opportunity, but they say, I, I, I'm not ready for this opportunity. So yeah. they so um, what do you say about people who are presented with opportunities? Opportunity looks pretty good, but the person just doesn't have confidence um, or they would say they don't have means, you know, like, yeah, I had the opportunity to um, to live there or take that flight or, you know, whatever, get that car. But it wasn't the time. Um, I think it's circumstantial. Like, I'm not going to just say across the board, just do it, just mm-hmm. do it. But for a lot of cases, you have to have an honest conversation with yourself. And it's like, there's a lot of fear that comes in with missed opportunities. Yeah. And if that's the case, there's a lot of fear that comes in with missed opportunities. What's that mean? Uh, there's a lot of fear, like missed opportunities. A lot of the times are fear based. That's why they happened. That's why they happened. Mm-hmm. It, okay. it, it's you can make your excuses of I don't have enough money or right. Um, it's it's just it doesn't make sense to me right now. Um, right. Uh, I I'll, let me just wait. Yeah. And, and figure it out. And it, uh, there's a fear, and it's an understandable fear, but that's where faith comes in. Right. And so if you have faith and this opportunity, this combination, it's such a helpful, it's a duo, a power duo. Right. You know, if like, if you have faith and and you're praying for a new job and you get a job offer across the country, right. in another country, let's right. even say, and you're like unsure, you're like, oh, financially, I don't know if that'll work, blah, blah, blah. But you have that faith that this was an opportunity presented yeah. for you. Right. Then you can take, you know what they call it, a leap of faith faith they take a leap of faith right so opportunities come and go and um grab it grab it if you can no grab it even if you can't you know like that the point of a a, because that's the thing the biggest thing of opportunity is like what you just said that i didn't like (laughs) i'm scared um if you can that word can is a definitive you either can or you can't i say it as a comfort to people who can't bring themselves to do things <laughs> i'm <laughs> serious so well, okay I, I get that but i'm, I'm saying like in, obviously you can gauge for yourself different situations and what they call for mm. but if it's something that's really like you're on the fence about but you want to do you know like people say a leap of faith a lot you know like a, a true leap of faith is like by definition it's jumping without knowing uh, what you're jumping on. No safety net. More than no safety net. It, it, it's like it's literally like um I'm I'm at I'm at a cliff, and it's real foggy. I don't know. Um, I, so I can't see at all what I'm. I could be jumping into rocks, into shark infested waters. I don't know. And then 
you know, someone's next to me, like JC. Yeah. And because, you know, that's who you're putting your faith in. That's mm-hmm. like, and he's like, you will be safe, jump. Yeah. And then you can be there all day. Like, well, if you just tell me what's down there, if you yeah. tell me I'll make it, I'll jump. Yeah. All and the overthinking. Like, that's mm-hmm. not, that, that, that's, that's not the point. Yeah. It's interesting that, you know, how certain words have, um, like you've heard it a lot of times. You've heard miss, missed opportunity a lot of times. Yeah. And you do hear seize the word seize with opportunity yeah. seize the opportunity seize it. and the word seize is like take over you know in a very yeah like you said in a jump with no net yeah feeling you know seize the opportunity mm-hmm. um because sometimes opportunities don't pan out but it was still you good still good you did whatever it was you did like i think of um i think of when you do a job interview yeah and um after the person interviews you, you usually write them a, le- a letter and you'll say, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. Now, you weren't offered the job. You might not be offered the job, mm-hmm. but you're saying, you know what? That was an opportunity and thank you for offering and it to me. And you got something And I got it. something from it and I did it. Yeah. You know, so it, it doesn't maybe always have to result in. in no. Um, I was, I was watching or i was talking i was watching some, some this thing and then i was talking to someone about this uh, this concept about dating culture and it was about who who get got more out of, out of the situation guy a or guy b guy a goes on a hundred first dates and they all reject him because he asked some hundred girls out and, and guy b waits and doesn't doesn't ask any girls out and uh until he's sure 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 yeah that it's going to be long lasting they're going to be happy forever who who got more out of that it's it's time. guy a yeah. he, he learned everything like he learned so much wait it wasn't going out because that's already too much it was asking girls out okay and it was guy a got rejected Oh, got gotcha. you. Got rejected ninety times, but ten girls said yes. Right. Guy B waited to be sure. Right. And went out with one girl, so he has a hundred percent success record. Right. And that's great and all, but yeah, the guy who jumped on every opportunity, ni- right. ninety times he missed, right. but he's ten times better off, or right. ten he ten times did better. Yeah. In these are, and that works for everything. You know, it's the more opportunities thrown at you is the more chance. It's not the more you're going to get. The more you're def you're you're definitely going to get it's the more chances to get yes yeah, right you know they, they say in sports like whoever takes the most shots right has a much better chance of winning right um shooter's gonna shoot yeah yeah it's just like any as sweepstakes you know if you put yeah your name in the bowl once or you, you know yeah. put 50 entries in um so would you say that an opportunity is a blessing because i'm thinking of um, I'm thinking of people, um, disenfranchised people or whatever who say, I was never given the opportunity. I was never given the opportunity that you, or you've had so many opportunity, so much opportunities that I haven't had. So is it also a blessing? For sure. I mean, in both ways that some people are given more opportunities just by the, you know, pull of the hat, pull the hat, pull I just thought you meant the how you were born, or yeah, that's what I meant. I just didn't know if I was saying the right thing. I never heard pull of the hat, but pull we, of the straw. We could pull do of, it. Oh, the short straw. And yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's a blessing in that way. Mm-hmm. But just like, just like anything, and I think, I truly think that prayer is answered with opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it, it's this thing that you both need to work with. Mm-hmm. God opens doors for you. He yeah. doesn't push you through doors, you know? So in that regard... Presents you with it, yeah. Yeah, in that regard, I do think every opportunity is a blessing. Right. It's, it's, it's a chance to get to to go further down the path that you're meant to live. You know, you are never... Like, nobody in the history of anybody, maybe somebody, has been... <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote. <laughs> Has been pulled, like someone kicks this door in, pulls me out of my chair, and puts me into a CEO desk, uh, you know, and, and, and says, all right, Mr. President of a company, what do we do? Like, 
the world works on opportunity. And yeah. like I said, I mean, I am I am sympathizing with those who say, okay, but yeah, his I dad, his had dad, half the opportunities. Yeah, that his had. his dad owned a Fortune 500 company. He was able to get this schooling, so he kind of was pulled. And it's like yeah. everyone gets um, opportunity in different ways shapes and forms yes but every opportunity is a blessing yes and whether and if you are given a lot of opportunities appreciate it as a blessing like right. you might oh i'm not praying for anything life just works out for me and it's like well appreciate that right. appreciate that you are that you are getting these opportunities and if you don't get that many opportunities then you really seize the ones you do get yeah you know you could also give somebody an opportunity definitely that would be probably a good thing on your side to yeah. to do that's the other thing about um about prayers that i always think of because i'm you know me i'm always thinking analytically i'm thinking like stock market and stuff right and so many things that you pray for i'm like that affects like more than one person yeah like so how could it work like what if you have two different prayers right yada yada and i have both praying for the same job yeah and i have and i have these like ideas and like well yeah those thoughts um are what stop people from being spiritual yeah and whenever that happens to me i just remember that it's too much for us to know so there are times when you just have to um say yeah oh no yeah And, and that's what i do but I, de- I definitely am, am not like, well, if God was, created everyone, who created God? I don't, I don't yeah, get in these yeah, rabbit yeah. holes. Um, but um, what I was saying with that was, what was I saying with that? When you pray. Um, yeah. Um, it affects two or more people. So I, I still think like generally how can it work? And one way, is, I, one way I think it works is you might like give someone the opportunity that they've been praying for. Yeah. And I think God is present in that situation. You know, whether, you know, it's, it's just giving you that little push yeah. to give them the opportunity. Right. And you didn't even realize that you right. were fulfilling right. a prayer that they were asking and, yeah. and, and all these things, you know? Absolutely. And, um, <laughs> and all these things. Sometimes I think of that um, with charity. I don't know if we ever did a charity podcast. Yeah, we did. did we? Okay. That was the, uh, that was the gingerbread house. Oh, okay. Yeah. I consider that the gingerbread episode. Yeah, it's a little charity. <laughs> All right, episode. so the charity. Um, we were talking a lot about unhoused people. Yes, we were, and we were talking about some people are reluctant reluctant to take charity because they feel it's embarrassing or they feel that it's. I don't need your charity. I right. have no charity case. Right. Um. And and I don't know if I said it then, but I'll say it now. Um. When you. When you need charity and you accept charity, you're giving the person who's giving it to you, you're, you're giving them that opportunity yeah. to give somebody help. So if you frame it in a way of they're giving, like you're framing it like, oh, they're giving me something, but you're giving them something. Yeah. Because we just said it is a good thing to give someone an opportunity. Obviously, it'd be good good if someone, um, you know, they were, they were a new... Um, house painter and we he had no references but we gave him the opportunity to paint the house and that was great because then he got yeah. Yeah. but it could also be intangible you know yeah no definitely it it does help both sides like you see on the smallest scale of like when a family member asks you for like a little help and they're like oh like take five dollars and it's like no i don't need it and it's like they want to like right hey, you help me i want to right. feel like i'm helping and and right then if you do take it you're both benefiting right like, it's not like they're like I guess we can't eat tonight. <laughs> I guess we can't eat dinner tonight. Right. It's, yeah. It's obviously um, within the and means. And just like we always say, um, whether you're a Christian or um, a Jewish person or uh, whatever, a Rastafarian, um, take the opportunity when you are out, are out in life to be someone that represents your beliefs. Yeah. So instead of telling people this is what I believe or this is how, if you act in a in a, in a in a way that you're proud of or a way that is kind or you know enriching to other people, you've taken an oppor- that's an opportunity. I'm glad you said that cuz this entire podcast, you know, it's it's on the tail end. We're mm-hmm. on the home stretch. We talked about grandiose opportunities. Yeah. We've talked about something's going to come to your door and it's going to be a job offer. Right. It's going to be a marriage proposal. Right. It's going to be 
those are the only two opportunities. Car, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what we haven't talked about, what you know is spoken about in the Bible. Okay. You know, give us this day our daily bread. Right. Every day is an opportunity. Yeah. Every day we're yeah. alive, we're on earth, is an opportunity yeah. to, to help others. No matter what. To help ourselves, to further our life, to spread love and yes. cheer all through the year. Yes. Yes. Like I said in, in Hope um, episode, um, if you are a 90-year-old person in mm-hmm. in an uh, old folks' home, um, what opportunities do I have? Yeah. You have opportunities to deal with the people who are dropping off your food yeah. or who are, you know. Yeah, you, just on the simple thing, like every day you have the opportunity to choose kindness, you know, like yes. to, to, you have the opportunity. Guarantee 99% of people interact with one other person that day. Yeah. Every day is the opportunity to make someone's day. Right. Like, and so as much as, yeah, seize the opportunity on, on grand scales, but every day you are, pres- from, from the moment you get out of bed to the moment you get back in bed. You have the opportunity to help your life, help others' lives. Yeah. And don't drop the op. Trying to you're trying to get something. Yeah. Another shirt slogan. Right, get on. Don't drop the op. It's, what? It seems kind of like gang affiliated because like ops are like oh like like black ops, special ops, no like military. No, I said gang related. <laughs> Ops is a slang word for oppo- opposing opposers. So it's ah, like a fellow gang or okay. even the police. They're they're ops, and so drop and or don't drop the op sounds like I'll work drop, on it. which is another oh, gang word. Okay, yeah, I'll to work on it. Eliminate. All right, you said gang don't, three thousand times. You, you're definitely going to be knocked off of YouTube. Don't el- eliminate your enemies. Is yeah. what you just said. But guys, thank you for giving us. This, this oppor- opportunity, opportunity. <laughs> I messed up. I, I felt pressure as soon as you were trying to say it together. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to talk all the time. And go out, go out, and, and, and don't even act on opportunity. Don't, but think about it on a daily basis, and just see around you, like, oh, like where opportunities present themselves. You have the yeah. opportunity to hold that door. You have yeah. the opportunity. Yeah. To to make to compliment that person yeah. and, and make their day. So and, and just overdo it. I have one I know now we're too far in time, but um we did have a pause when you forgot your thoughts. Um just one little thing, you know, I'm always thinking about the underdog and the mental health underdog. Um how do you get over a missed opportunity for real? When you're like I thought of the bricks in the yeah. tunnel, <laughs> like I, opportunities I, I, do do fly by you and you do miss them and like uh how do you live with it well i i think what we were just saying and 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 if we if you do think about opportunity on such a big scale like that it is easy to say that was my chance right that was my chance but when you dial opportunity back and, and realize yeah. on a daily basis it was you, meant to be that you, way. Yeah, yeah and you have the opportunity to do so much then you're not like okay i, I missed one but a thousand more opportunities right. coming my way and it's it's good to be opportunistic in that way and it's to you're not going to act on every opportunity you get yeah like tennis you know you, you don't like keep crying because that ball passed you you know you just get ready for the next one yeah yeah just look out for opportunities because let me tell you they are everywhere we're too many opportunities we're in the country of opportunity an embarrassment of opportunities yeah all right guys we will be back no we won't we won't be back tomorrow because it is the weekend. We will be back on Sunday with a meme review. And we will uh-huh. be back at an undisclosed date with the next episode of The Van Build. Beep, beep. Whoa, watch out. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you. <laughs>